Four for the Falls. wondering what to do with Yellow Gulch. All right, so we got Yellow Gulch. We pay good money for it. But what could it do us? What good? We make a fortune out of it. No fortune. Madre mia, not again. Give me that gold. What are you doing? That's a real gold. Don't the worry. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Just stand back. That's a pretty, don't you think so? But I don't get it. You take the pick and dig out a real nice piece, eh? then you see. Far away in the mountains, in good old western time, they built a tiny railroad that ran down from the mines. And nowadays you'll find it working just the same. And the folks come from all over to see this little train. It goes choo-choo, rick-a-rackety, choo-choo, then it blows again, choo-choo. It's the funny little rick-a-rick-a-rackety train. It goes puff-puff, rick-a-rackety, puff-puff, as it feels the strain, puff-puff. It's the funny little rick-a-rick-a-rackety train. There's the quaintest driver you've ever seen, and they call him Railroad Jack. There's a funny old fireman getting up steam as they shuffle and shuffle along the track. It goes choo-choo, rick-a-rackety, choo-choo, right across the plain, choo-choo. It's the funny little rick-a-rick-a-rackety train. The rick-a-rick-a-rackety train, yes, the rick-a-rick-a-rackety train. Mighty nice, Dick. Thanks. Well, what about another, Sheriff? Uh, sorry, fellas, but I gotta be getting along. The sheriff takes. So what? He can't do nothing. Well, it's not your sheriff. Even Pedro, Fernando. Wonder what them two ornery coyotes is up to. Buenas noches, senores. Say, buenas noches. Uh-oh. Keep your hands on your money, fellas. Uh, Senor Jim <laughs> drinks for everybody. I pay. See, Pedro is gonna pay. You ain't been left a fortune, have you? Look, I did that. Well, 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 what do you know? <laughs> That's just about the richest piece of gold ore that I ever seen. <laughs> Where did you get it? We dug it out of our own land. See, for our yellow gulch. Good darn it. I always did say there was gold there. Reckon with only a little bit of yellow gulch, man might make his fortune. But I, uh, I suppose you fellas, uh, ain't aiming to sell? Oh, no. I don't think so. What do you say, Fernando? No, I don't think so. Still, Fernando, Senor Twink, means always uh, been nice to us. Huh? See, si, Senor Twink, he's a real caballero. Hey, now, what about me? Why don't you sell me a piece? And me too. And me. Just a moment, please. 
if we give to everyone, <laughs> well, there ain't gonna be none left for us. <laughs> but you can't shout to one and not the other. That ain't fair. All right, yes. First, I speak to my partner. <coughs> Sí, amigo. Sí, amigo. Sí, amigo. My partner is a... No. No! It's a no. We don't sell to one and not to the others. We sell everyone a piece of... Gee, thanks, Pedro. Thanks a lot. Me the look at the Irish be with you. Come on, Dusty. Breakfast ready. Howdy, Gramper. Well, howdy, Tex. We're sorry I can't stop. You gotta keep going. Where in thunder is he off to at this hour of the morning? And there's Mr. Jackson. And Doc. Hi, Marvin. Never seen you toting a shovel before. So we've got work to do. Jim! Hey, what's going on here? No time to stop and talk. Can't let the mothers beat me to it. Morning, ma'am. You're open early. Seems there's quite a run on mine and tools. Reckon I sold about every pick and shovel in the place. Why, Dan, you're just the man I wanted to see. <clears throat> Looks like we've got a gold rush in our hands. But I ain't fooled nothing. I know there ain't no gold in yellow goats. Gold in yellow goats? Yeah. Seems Pedro brung in the biggest piece of ore you ever seen. Yep. A twink and the others darn near forced him into selling. Ain't no law against selling land if folks is fool enough to buy it. But I'll eat my hat if they find that yellow metal. <gasps> if I had my way, I'd make them buy it back, every bit of it, and charge them double. Say, why don't you two come on over to the office? Coffee's brewing, and I think you've given me an idea. Pedro, I don't like this. I think we got to get supplies, and we? There's nobody around. They're all too busy digging. <laughs> See, but when they find out, we'll be miles away. <laughs> Pedro and Fernando. Morning, Mr. Pedro, Mr. Fernando. Uh, buenos dias, senora. Uh, uh, you get the younger every day. Huh? <laughs> Fernando, she's a pretty like a picture, no? No, I mean, uh, she uh, like a picture. Mr. Pedro, the things you say. <laughs> We're going to miss you, ain't we, Fernando? Why? You ain't leaving, are you? Si, si, si. Soon we return home. To Mexico? Oh, we're sure gonna be sorry to see you go. Reckon Four Feather Falls is gonna become the richest town in the West. <laughs> Especially since the telegram came. <laughs> telegram? What the telegram? Why, ain't you heard? From the mining office. They say the gold strike in Yellow Gulch is the biggest ever. But oh, we put the gold in our... We got to go. Just remembered some important business. Come, Fernando. But we don't got no business. <laughs> Looks like the sheriff's plan is gonna work. We got land with gold. And you have to sell it. You know it had the gold. No. So why you talking? Because a smart man don't sell land with gold in it. It's very simple. I buy it back. Yeah. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> so you see how it is, fellas. Pedro here is in terrible trouble. <laughs> See, poor Pedro. He's a grandmother. She's a dead. <laughs>
Now, fellas, uh, Pedro tells me that it's a family tradition to bring his ancestors to Yellow Gulch for burying. And what has he done? He's gone and sold this land to you just so as he could help you all to make a fortune. Now, since he's been so decent to you, I think it'd only be right for us all to help him at a time like this. Oh, I guess they can't hardly expect us to let him buy it back. I'm ashamed of you, Marvin. Have you no respect for poor Pedro's grandmother? May she rest in peace. Now, Pedro sold you this land fair and honest. Ain't that so? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Then we gotta play fair with him. Right? Right. right? right, right, right. Well, I guess the only fair thing to do is to put the land up for auction. That way, Pedro will have a chance to pay a fair price for it. Okay, that's settled then. Now, Grandpa, we'll start with you. Now, folks, here's a fine section of land belonging to Grandpa Twink. What am I bid? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Four hundred. Four hundred dollars. Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. Eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. Amigo, where we get the rest of the money from to pay? But we got the money. We got all the gold in the Yellow Gulch. <laughs> Who's the smart, eh? <laughs> and the way you fellas acted, it was great. I reckon you just made the only gold ever likely to come out of Yellow Gulch. You were smart, all right, Pedro. Only one thing is, I wonder why they're laughing. <laughs> Oh, Tugan, Tex of Texas, is a guy with the straightest deal. But he keeps the law with the fastest draw and a nervous strongest deal. Oh, Tugan, Tex of Texas, will never let you down. But play it bad and he'll get mad, so cover your tricks from Tugan, Tex, the smartest guy in town. The smartest guy in town. Thank you.